up, everybody? It's your boy Dev Hall. You already know who it is, yo. You know, next up with Dev Hall, we got the one and only Osama been stacking on today's episode. You know, last episode we had my man Fabio Famous. You know, he was speaking on his lad, his latest song, Big Love, who was featuring Osama on it. You know, I was speaking highly of Osama, speaking highly of Famous because I think they both murdered their verses on that song. But today we got a special guest and he's here with us today. You know, he about to drop a new tape, Ghetto Babies 2. But he got the pleasure to sit here with me to discuss his damn music career, man. How's everything going with you, bro? Ghetto Baby Reloaded. Hey, yeah, all right, man. Yeah. What's up, how you doing today, man? What's up, bro? I can't call it, man. Listen, man, uh, I've been listening to you for quite some time, bro. Um, I don't see that many interviews with you, you know. I know you don't like to really be on camera unless you like really rapping some shit, but uh, I'm glad you had the opportunity to come here today. But we're gonna get right into it, man. Blue Heart Therapy, man. One, you know, uh, why did you name it Blue Heart Therapy? Uh. When I first figured out I wanted to put it like an uh, actual tape together, cause I started this shit when I first started rapping, we just was doing freestyle. I was doing freestyle. It's, I started just recording on the phone. Like Joe was recording me and my mom, mom and shit. Right. On the phone, you feel right. me? Then it went from that to doing tracks, to dropping on SoundCloud. Then I figured out like, let me put a body of work together. Fat Trail told me that. Mm -hmm. Put a body of work together. I put that shit together. And, too many days was going by trying to figure out a name. Like, damn, what we gonna call this shit? Right. So I stopped thinking about a name and I just started thinking about how, how it make me feel and shit. Like, mm -hmm. how the how the music make me feel and shit. Like, I just feel like it's therapeutic. Right, you right, feel right. Me? To me, you mm -hmm. feel me? So, you know. Now you got, uh, it's all good. It's all good, I feel it, we almost dead Cause they're fighting for survival, I got us And I don't fear nothing Suicidal thoughts in your mind, thinking it's over, huh? Pick your head up, gotta rumble and be a soldier Now a law gonna test you Probably teach you a lesson, feel like I'm always failing My reality got me stressing Nobody, nobody there, feel like nobody care Ain't have a seat, I just fell I gave everybody a chance, my dad said I'm disowned My mama told me she hate me My childhood wasn't the greatest, I'm grinding So I can change it, you love me, I love you more Promise I love you forever, Promise Promise me you still support her. My opposition is better. That's real. I'm traumatized. Cause they love me, then they leave me. They hate me until they need me. Cause daddy doing the needle. Dead. That song right there, um, it's all good. Yeah, it's sampled by uh the weekend. If I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Like what like what went into you picking the weekend as a sample and also the instrumental? Like like how do you like decipher what songs and like what type of like you know instruments is gonna be on the song? When I when I pick my beats, like the songs that I'ma do, whoever producers email them to me, or if I find them on YouTube, mm -hmm. you feel me? It's like, I, it gotta give me that feeling, you feel me? And I know automatically, as soon as the beat come on, before it drop, you feel me? Right. But sometimes it, it be them beats where it's like, it come on the intro nice, mm -hmm. then the drop don't be what you expect. You right, right, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but when the intro there, mm -hmm. and the drop crazy, you just get that feeling though, you just get the chills, you feel me? Right, automatically, right. you know what flow you want, what you gonna say, all that, you feel me? So it's all good with one of them, I mean. Now, uh, you also speak highly of uh, your cousin, you know, um, who passed away, uh, and you named the song, right? You know that joint was "Song Cry." Now you really a, listen. Come on, bro. At the you end really of the day, listen. I ain't one of these niggas that's gonna you be really like. Listen. Come on, man. At the end of the day, song, song cry. Like I know song cry is a big song from Jay Z, and also it's like you was like spitting some pain on that joint. Like what made you decide to pick, you know, that instrumental? Hov became my favorite rapper. Like Hov was ready favorite rapper. You feel me? Ready, uh -huh. my big cousin. You feel me? Peace of paradise. You feel me? But like after Ready passed and all that, I started listening to whole more. You feel me? Like why Ready like him so right, much? Right. You feel me? Like and I was and I was learning. Like you can learn from who if you listen to his shit. Like Thanks. you feel me? Like so it's like that's how I got into that. And I just was listening to like classic beats. You feel me? I was thinking about the classics, and that's that feel that I got from it. You mm -hmm. feel me? Ready? You feel me? Like without if it wasn't for Ready, I probably would have never even been listening to who. You right. feel me? Like. Now, as far as that, now you probably wouldn't even be rapping, cause you said I heard. I heard I you definitely say definitely wouldn't be rapping. I heard you say you he inspired you to rap. You know, um, now by you saying that, uh, it's not that many rappers, man, that actually big up people that's in their circle and also like that kind of inspired them. If that makes sense, because yeah. a lot of people come in the game like, man, I'm doing the show on my own. I don't own nobody's shit. You feel yeah. me? Now, by you rapping, I don't notice you with that many different rappers. 
on a song. You know, I'm yeah. noticing as of lately you're starting to do it, and I'm actually happy as shit you're doing that. But like, why wasn't you doing that before? That should be like pulling teeth, like with Philly rap. It'd be like pulling teeth to like a couple different reasons. For one, I believe that like, like my personal opinion, like as a fan of music, I believe the niggas that I do music with is the hottest niggas in the world. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And that's P Legend. Mm -hmm. That's Black Heart Escape. That's mm -hmm. Trev. That's Scotty. That's Gunna. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. that's us, the ghetto babies. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like sometimes niggas ain't dropping. Sometimes niggas busy doing what they doing. You feel me? Everybody can't rap 24/7 like huh. like how I do. You right. feel me? Like, right. but like my favorite rappers are people that I rap with. You feel me? And mm -hmm. that's my way of networking. You feel me? Like right. I, we all one. You right. know what I'm saying? But besides that, it'd be like. Say if somebody go viral today, you feel me? And he a popular rapper, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Or whatever the case is, and you do fuck with his music. Mm -hmm. How you tell him that and get next to him while while he on his high horse? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like it's, niggas don't really, you know what I mean? They take this shit a, a whole different way. They don't, you don't get, you don't got to even get nowhere yet mm -hmm. to like be hard to get next to, you know? Yeah. Or make it seem like you hard to get next it's to. It's Instagram me? posts, man. All these you don't got to get nowhere. That's how I get the people. I feel like, and, and speaking of that, um. You know, I wanted to get right into that uh, before we get into Blue Heart Therapy too and Ghetto Babies. I wanted to get right into that because me personally, like I said, I'm going to say it on camera. You know, a lot of people in Philly, we call it dicky. You know, me, I'm grown and shit. I call it support and keeping it real. This motherfucker right here, if not top three, not top two, probably number one, my favorite rapper in the city. Keeping the bean. Like, a lot of my niggas, yo, I'm being, keeping the bean with you, bro. I ain't just saying I'm that. Like, and, <laughs> but, uh, like, I got a lot of niggas that rap, yo, and I swear to God, bro, it's like every time you go on my Insta Snap, this motherfucker playing in the background like he with me every day. I was thinking about that shit, too, the other day, because I be reposting when you be posting. I be like, this bull be on my page three, four times a week. <laughs> no, bro. real rap, bro. Like, I, I really, like, at the end of the day, like, and my man was like, yo, Dev, you like that real drill hard me? I said, bro, I like that pain music. I don't like that gimmick shit that when motherfuckers just trying to make a hit just to make it. That shit get born fast. And that's what I wanted to get into. Now, you got niggas, like, for example, I ain't going to name drop, but if y'all paying attention, y'all paying attention. You got niggas that's coming up now, and they got, like, little trends or, like, little songs that's making it. But you got niggas like yourself and other motherfuckers that got a catalog at work. Like, how do that make you feel, honestly? Like, damn, like, do I got to be... I got to be a, a fucking f a clown or I got to do some gimmick shit to make it? Like, how do you feel? Yeah, like, I I be, like, I be so into us where it's, like, I don't really, like, get a chance to feel a way about it. But how I think about it, we be bearing this shit. Like, I told them yesterday and shit. I told my brothers, I'm like, I'm going to come up with a dance for my song. <laughs> and I'm going to be the only person that don't know how to do the dance because I don't know how to dance, you feel me? But it's going to be my dance to my song. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? I hear you, but I hear you. I hear you. it is what it That's is. That's how like, young boy did his own joint, yo. He did his own dance with his own song. I'm going to come up with a dance, but I ain't going to do it, though. Everybody else going to do it. You no, feel I feel me? You, like, I feel you. I feel you. So everybody going to know who Corey Gray is. You ain't going to do it. Yeah, what you going to make this shit up? But uh, Blue Heart Therapy too, man. Intro, legendary. Um, you know, yeah, Free man. bloody, free yeah, high. Yeah, man, that joint right there. Free friend. fat daddy. That shit crazy, man. Uh, I had to travel on the road to change the situation. I still got brothers up the road fighting them situations. We don't cooperate with fans or the detectives. They gon' come and try to fry me, getting faded, and I'm getting paper. Yeah, that's my blood. I know he did it, nigga. What you saying? Cause I can get your body split and sit to different places. Or I can make your bitch pull up and let my niggas train her. Switching lanes from working to the boss and all it took was patience. Fuck if it's cold, we play the block and serve the fiends, nigga. Now I'm the one serving niggas that serve the fiends, nigga. Trap harder, nigga. Dream. Bigger. Now I'm too busy in the prettiest pictures. Call me they dream, nigga. Free the baby. What made you decide to come up with a blue heart therapy too? And also that intro, man. Cause that's that right there is pain. If, if y'all niggas never listen to him, listen to that song right there, man. Intro for Blue Heart Therapy too. Oh, uh, after one, it's like we like how I be and shit. Like, at, if I say if I do two songs a day, you feel me? We constantly listening to that shit. You yeah. feel me? Like, so by the time one came out and we didn't been banging that shit for however long until two came out, it was like, it's time for another one. Mm -hmm. Like, you gotta give them another one of these. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, I got little EPs, y'all should have killed me on Spinrilla. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, I heard it, John. Uh, what's the mother Jones? This is the beginning. Yeah, Love Me Now. Yeah, The Hunt. I got a couple EPs and all that, but it's like, 
that's different. This blue heart therapy shit, like that's personal. That's just like this ghetto baby shit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like that's personal. Like we gonna dig deeper. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So it was just time for a part two. You know what I mean, they was asking for. It, you know what I mean, you can't ignore. Them. Now check this out. Now you got some people, right? You know, a lot of people. I I try to put you. I put niggas on your music on shit. So I'm like, yo, dog, listen to this nigga. So you got some people that play like, with you hot as shit. You got some people that say you got the problem that Meek had, which was you yell a lot. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you yell a lot or you just feel like you just, it's just a pain in your, in your voice that you're trying to get across? Both. I feel like I feel like it's the pain, so that's what put it there. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like I'm passionate. I'm a passionate person. Mm-hmm. We can play basketball one-on-one, on one and you time, might right? not know if I fuck with you or right. not. You feel me? Like <laughs> yeah. I'm just passionate, though. You right, feel right, me? Right, but... Right. Uh, I was in the studio yesterday. I did a joint with uh, Giz. Shout out Giz. He working hard. Mm-hmm. Just touched down and all that. You know what I mean? We just did a joint. And I had to come out the booth. And I asked him. I took the headphones off. I'm like, yo, am I yelling or am I rapping right now? You <laughs> feel me? Like, yeah. niggas like, you yelling a little bit. Oh, right, right, <laughs> rap right, though. You right, feel right, me? Right. But all right, bet. You feel me? I'm that type of person though. You can tell me. Like, that's, that's how I feel like I get better. You feel me? I take the opinions of the people around me because right. I trust the niggas around me with they, with their opinions. You feel me? Right. Like, so. Like, yeah, sometimes because I'm passionate, mm-hmm. and sometimes I hear it, and I don't got no problem with that shit because that's exactly how I feel right. about this song. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like now, if it's a joint where it's like I'm I'm reaching out to the females and all that, mm-hmm. I don't want yeah. You feel me? Like it's funny you say that, yeah, because that that joint right, that joint right with the with the shorty and shit. Right one, yeah, yeah. that was an argument song. It's you funny feel? though because I was I was listening. And I'm like, yo, is this nigga? I know he trying to switch it up though, but you were saying some shit as if he was arguing. Yeah, so I think the tone was right on that, but. Speaking on that, um, do you feel like you can switch off a little bit, like with the with the for the track for the late with the ladies and shit? Cause you got a joint with like you got the uh, you got. I the be woman, talking that you got, shit. No, bro. listen, bro, listen. I ain't, you got the woman crush with P. You got you got Rillis and um, Rillis and Baddest, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. That joint hot as shit. Now, but a lot of niggas, I feel like a lot of niggas want you to spit like that more, yo. Cause don't get me wrong, everybody. One thing. A lot of niggas do, yo. Everybody can talk that kill drill shit. Yeah. But a lot of rappers ain't living that shit. Yeah, they ain't even like that. You honestly. feel me? But like, like going back and on that female lane, you think you can like attack that a little bit more or no? Yeah, for sure. Like I was thinking about doing on some real shit. Ledjo, Peep Legend got me on that like the relationship tracks. Cause like he out of us out the camp, he the goat with that shit. You feel me? Like, lady. So yeah, he the goat, bro, with that <laughs> shit. Like cause he's like versatile. And he really <laughs> dig. He dig deep with that shit. You right. feel me? Like. He got this joint called uh, what is called one time, yeah. what is, what that's on vibes too, yeah. vibes too. Yeah. It's called one time and shit. It's on this tape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, put that shit on. And whoever listening, you feel me? Get in the car with your chick. Put on one time. Pete Legend. Right. Y'all gonna see why he the goat with that shit. But that made me start working on my craft with it. You feel me? Cause it's like females love us. You feel me? Like they love us. So it's like why can't we talk to them too? We gonna talk to them. Right. Now, one joint, I feel like that uh, one of my favorite songs you got, uh, um, gotta be Blue Notes, yo. That freestyle, bro. Like, that right there, like, when you said a bar, I don't know if it's it's cool for me to say this shit, but, like, I think, this, I think it's one of the reasons you don't be on camera, bro. And you said it. This nigga said, I shot a nigga and paralyzed him. They got me spitting on camera. Nigga, like, Big bro, bro told me. Big when bro you said, said that it. shit, bro. He looked at me. I'm in I'm the movie. Like, he looked bro. at me. He said, he crazy as shit. Yeah, nigga, like, when you, when you ended that joint like that, I'm like, bro, that's the perfect way to say, like, wait, did that nigga just say that shit? Like, like, let me ask you this, man, because I'm trying to, like, get all my questions together, right? While people rapping and shit, you hear these niggas spitting, and you like, yo, I know these niggas personally, or these niggas in general. Do you be like, yo, dog, niggas not even like this, and I'm actually living the shit that I'm rapping about. Like, how do, you, how do you feel about that? No, I don't be like that because, like, I'm the type of person, you could be whoever you want to be. You feel me? Like, you could be whoever you want to be. You feel me? Like, my whole thing be, like, the only type of shit I have a problem about is if, like, is if you listen to me, you know I'm hot. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You know I talk that shit and you know I live that shit. And somebody asks you. Who who some of the hottest niggas? You know what I mean? And I don't get mentioned. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. the only shit I yeah. got a problem with. Cause it's like I yeah. talk that shit, nigga, and I walk that shit. You feel me? Don't right. ever leave me out that type of question. Do right. whatever you want, right. but answer that question correctly. You right. feel me? Like yeah. that's the only. You know what I mean, but y'all niggas, the rappers can do whatever they want because it's like niggas pay. They feed their kids off of the image that they paint of they self. Yeah. I can't get mad at you for that. You right. feel me? You not bothering me. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? You not bothering me, but it do. 
it be question marks in the air when it's like them questions do be asked mm -hmm. and niggas don't mention us. That, that's when the questions be in the air, but besides that, do them. You feel me? That's how I be. I want to see niggas do them. Nah, nah. We be doing us. Nah, I, feel, I feel like it was a little disrespect when they didn't put you on the, um, the top list. Top rappers in the city. That shit was crazy. I, I seen, was cracking. I seen a lot of <laughs> niggas. Like, no, real rap. It's a lot of niggas that didn't make that list. I feel like my man KP didn't make that list. Um, you know, Simon. It's a lot of niggas that's like that's putting in work that didn't make the list. And you got a lot of one one time motherfuckers that's making the list. And a lot of niggas I never heard of making the list. Not taking shots at nobody. Cause I know niggas probably made you know worked hard to get to that list. You know but, what you gotta think of though, bro, about them lists, like. If we, if I had Photoshop, yeah. I can make the list, yeah. and everybody from my neighborhood would be on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, definitely. so it's like them joints really don't opinion. mean that it's much. Opinion, you right. feel me? They right. don't really mean that much, but it's like, and like, that shit don't really mean. It don't it. mean that much, but when you got like social media buzzing the way it is, dog, mm -hmm. and everybody be hyping shit about everybody it. Everybody reposting. Everybody and thinking like, oh, I ain't, like, like, come on, man, y'all don't even know who the fuck I am, and I'm better than half of these niggas on this list. You yeah. feel me? But we're going to go fast forward to Ghetto Babies 1, because you know you got Ghetto Babies 2 about to drop. Ghetto Babies 1, man, um, amongst the star. It's funny as shit, because it's playing right now. But uh, my homie already told me I was a star. I got a gift and I can take this shit far. Right. My homie already told me I was a star. Remain loyal and take care of your dog. Uh, my homie told me I'm a star and I'm different Ain't got no business up in prison Why I couldn't just listen Cause I had friends and a family and then they went missing It hurt my heart, the streets killed up my feelings I got daughters looking at me for an answer that I just couldn't give them Because I love them with like everything in me Can't let them get to exposed I keep a pole when I go to my shows Because I know niggas wanted my soul It's every man for himself Be fucked up, can't ask your man for no help You wrong, you ask when he gon' clear up that debt Nigga, you being petty We take a fall, nigga, I'm blaming myself We in the war, nigga, I'm blaming Myself to pray a lot, protect me. What if I was a little hurt by the what shit? What if I was a little soft by what the that? shit? Nigga, let's talk about the shit. You taught me well, but never taught me about this. I let a game until it taught me shit. I'm like the walking dead. I hit his body in the office head. Look in the mirror, see a murder. Mama Judy at the star instead. So much inspiration in her eyes. I don't go home unless I'm making a proud. Tired of making a cut. Me and Sean raised in the same house. Same dad, same mom. Just trying to figure this out. Cause Sean teaches go home since he the best in the class. When my teachers call home, they said they kicking me out So much pain in my heart, just trying to get this shit out Ain't trying to see another line up where they picking me up My homie cried in them courts when they cuffed me dead They watched the fall, they ain't even let me help but damn My baby mom was my bitch till she fucked my man And my wife was my life, but she fucked her clowns I'm out of town thinking if she let him bust her down My brother shook her out hand, that shit crushed me, damn The audacity to blame me about the actions I made Like 15,000 days of being hot by the game If I can change anything Time be the slave because I'm loyal when I rock for days. Uh, that right there, bro. Amongst the star, man. That song right there is crazy. Like, what made you, like, why do you pick these samples, man? He said, I don't glorify the streets, but I spend a block. Stop. I'm giving them squad of action. Mm -hmm. you feel, that's that part right there. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, why you what you call, man? Like, why do you pick certain samples and, like, like that? They give me that feeling. Like, it, it's like, they just give me that feeling. It's, I rap. I rap when I get the feeling. You right. feel me? Like I don't force myself to rap. Like I got. I got forced raps in my notes and shit. But you'll never hear them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I don't feel that shit. Like I put it together. I play with the words. You feel me? But I don't feel it right here. So mm -hmm. ain't nobody gonna hear that shit. You feel me? Like, so that's how. I, that's that's why I come up with like a lot of the similar type stuff. You feel me? Or if I'm in a certain type, like the day I just grab a well. You feel me? Like just. Cause it's, what it, just cause it's Wednesday, you feel me? I bought a Wednesday car. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, if I hear the right beat, I'm gonna talk some money shit, you feel me? Like, I'm, it's gonna be real. I ain't gonna be act like I'm rich or nothing, but I'm gonna act like I could buy a car on Wednesday cause it's Wednesday. Right, you feel right. me? Cause that shit happened. Right, you feel right, me? Like, right. I just go with, I just go with the vibe. You feel me? Like, yeah. uh, you got truth, you got corner going, but truth, man, at the beginning of the song, you were saying some shit and, um, that's why I really wanted to do this interview, dog. Cause you were saying like you feel like you can you owe these niggas more than your life on the song, or you can like it was something that's deeper than rap in the beginning. Yeah, like on some real shit. This shit like it's like this become this be, rap went from a hobby to my life a little bit. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. rap play a big a major role in my life. You feel me? Like it take a lot of time out of my life. Mm -hmm. it, it in a good way though. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel cheated off my time when it got something to do with rap or music. Like this ride I just took to come fuck with you and do this interview, mm -hmm. if it was about seeing 
a girl I wanted for years, bro. I wouldn't have came. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. but rap drive me that way. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. all right, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. so that's how I feel about music. You feel me? Like, it do something for me. It's some positive shit, bro. Like, I'm the type of person, or we be the type of people where it's like idle time don't be the best for us because nice. like once we start finding shit, we pursue it. Like whatever it is, if it catch our interest, we pursue it, and it's like everything ain't to be pursued. You feel me? And you know, you know that makes sense. Uh, I was gonna speak on that. Uh, you got like people like uh, Lean, Seventh um, Street. Yeah, you got I people. Fuck with Lean, you man. got like, people like uh, Garcia. You know, showing love. I fuck and shit. with Garcia. Yeah. You know, like you got a lot of niggas that's showing you love in the city, man. And I feel like, don't get me wrong, some niggas find this shit cornball to say, but like niggas getting noted. We see a lot of motherfuckers getting killed, getting shot. They said in the third, you said something that was real important. You said this rap shit is becoming your life in a sense because it's like it's not taking away from what you're trying to do because it's like hopefully it's beneficial and it's keeping you away from the streets i would assume you feel me like i feel like same thing i told my man fame same thing i told my man Kyle, and same thing i tell every nigga that rap the way you rap bro your life is bigger than what the fuck you can lose you feel me i mean yeah. like on these on unnecessary shit man i feel like the niggas that got talent you can make it i listen to y'all niggas more than industry niggas you feel me and um by me sitting here with you bro I like truly wish you nothing but the best, you know. Real Appreciate rap, though, because like I know you don't really do interviews and shit like that. Yeah. And on top, on top of that, you got Ghetto Babies too. You know, Ghetto Babies too, highly anticipated because um, Ghetto Babies one was crazy. Speak on that, man. Yeah, hey yo, I normally like the type of person I am. Like this, like Perry, like for some strange reason I conceal my intentions. You feel me? Like you don't really know what's about to happen until it happens. You yeah. feel me? So with my music. I just be dropping out the sky. I don't really promo. I don't say this on the way. And this time, this this time around, I know Big Homie want the name drop. You feel me? And it's some real <laughs> shit. He told me he like, oh, <laughs> you gotta we gotta promo this shit. You keep trying to drop out the sky. Like stop doing that shit. Like okay. let's promo that shit. Build some anticipation. Yeah. You feel me? And it's like ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? Yeah, no. So it's like all right. Let's promo this shit. Right, right, so right. I'm I'm here. You feel me? Like I hear you say you trying to get the merch out, like shirts, all that type of shit. That's, yeah, that's I was talk, I was I was I was networking earlier that's about like you know the merch, the right. prices, and how fast shit could be done and all that. I I I actually would have wanted to have a ghetto baby shirt on for this interview. You feel me? Huh? But like that's the same thing right here. You feel me? No bullshit entertainment. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, we gotta rep us. And you know speaking of no bullshit entertainment, you know. uh what made y'all decide to come up with the label? Uh, I mean, it been a part of our slang in our neighborhood, you feel me? Like, that's part of our culture, you feel me? Like, only thing that made it, we just went and LLC'd our yeah, brand, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just because, like, we know motherfuckers be peeping the swag, you feel yeah. me? they take your whole joint and don't even salute you, you feel me? <laughs> like, it just make you, that. that's that's why niggas, like, we different, you feel me? But niggas be getting, niggas be, niggas turn better over shit like that, like, mm -hmm. don't really don't fuck with a nigga because a nigga did some shit, took their idea and didn't, you know what I mean? Like, we don't me. care, though, like, we right. just gonna LLC our shit and, like, the whole world, come on, no bullshit. Right. What, like, after every sentence, you can say no bullshit, bro. Mm -hmm. After every sentence, right. no bullshit. Right, feel me? Like, that's us. Ghetto baby. No, that's, absolutely, feel me? Like, that's absolutely true. Now, um, rappers coming up, man. Um, like I said, outside it, like outside of your camp, is there any rappers that like you listen to? Like, cause like, don't get me wrong, man. I'm gonna keep it a B. I want you to do a song with Core. I don't know how you feel about him. I don't know uh, what y'all feel, but I just want. You, I think you. I think you would do a song with Core. The reason I'm saying that nigga name, I feel like he's one of the top niggas that didn't get signed or that's not out the city yet. yet. And I feel like you can Cora go. Signed? He signed to a, a label that's not like that's big. He not. He like you get what I'm saying. Like he not signed but, like a. But, he not like a P and B sign. Like everybody know fucking B and B. Like niggas know core in the city. Pusher, all these other niggas, but like the industry don't know him. You feel me? I'm talking about like I want you to be on a song with this nigga to show like yo I can last with a nigga like this or pass a nigga like this. And core he from around my way, so it's like yo I think you should do a song with him, nigga like him, a song with a. Uh, I don't even know if you got a song with Leaf War, yo. A song with Leaf, like that shit, I think that'd be crazy. Cause if he you say- you savage and I'm savage, then we savages. Oh, yeah. My nigga ride uh, plenty uh, of packages, uh, I be back. Uh, I'm all like, Shit, I've been known since my homie like, uh, sent me them packages. Uh -huh. Get that paper in my ring so I be stacking it. Shout out Leaf. Uh, Core, yeah, Core hot as shit, man. He play with them words, you feel yeah. me? And he come on different, that's what I like about it. Right. When the beat come on, you don't know when he gonna come on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. 
Yeah, I fuck with Corey. We going, but shit like that happened. Like we rather it happen organically. You feel me? Like That's we didn't, nice. we know each other. Like okay. you know what I mean, we familiar with each other. We All had right. conversations and stuff like that. But shit like that, it just got happen organically. You feel me? Like we both out the A. You feel right. me? Like and we in the studio. Come on, right. it's, it's that time. Yeah, you know I mean, it's gonna happen if it if it's meant to happen. You feel me? But yeah. Niggas better bring their bars though. Like anybody that get on wax with me, better bring them bars. Mm -hmm. Anybody. Now, uh, you know, before uh, I want to say one more thing as well. Uh, now you can't. You know, like I said, uh, I listen to people a lot. I listen to um, I forgot Trev, right? Yeah. yeah I listen. I, I listen to him a lot. You know, uh, not a lot. I listen to the one, two songs. Um, and he had his shit too. I just feel like uh, when when you and P, it kind of remind me of how Baby and Son is. You feel me? Like when I say BB and Stunner, like BB, like the BB and Stunner for Vegas, um, I'm saying it like how while you're coming up, he's coming up as well, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Not saying he can't hold his own or not, but at the end of the day, that's how Baby doing it. Like mm -hmm. Stunner is right, when you think of Baby here, you hear Stunner right there too. And that's how y'all two is. You got Soul Food together. Mm -hmm. You got um, R&B, like I said before, and you got that Woman Crush and more songs, I'm pretty sure. But like, do you feel like he like compliments you well? like? How Kiss and Styles is? Man, I just gave Bull, Peep Legend, I just gave Bull my best beat I got right now. <laughs> my favorite beat. Yeah. I just gave to him. You feel me? Right. It was sent to me and my batch. You right. feel me? We be getting our batches. You feel me? He get his, I get mine. <laughs> it was, this one was sent to me. Yeah, yeah. I seen how he was nine to that shit. I know what he going to do to it. Right, right, Go right. ahead, bro. You feel me? I like. Love. So that explains it all. Dang, you feel you me? Like, that's beat too. Like, yeah, my love. favorite, but you know. That's love. That's love. Anything you want to say to the uh, viewers, your fans, and your followers? I'm doing this interview for y'all. I don't. <laughs> I'm doing this interview for y'all, man. Listen, hit every link that you see. I ain't gonna kill y'all to death with the uh with the cover arts and all that. I'm gonna give y'all something to watch. You feel me? I'm gonna give y'all something to listen to. You feel me? If you run that shit back, you gonna learn something. You feel me? But like, stay tuned, cause like we moving recklessly right now. You feel me? Like we doing it from right here, though. You know what I'm saying? So be patient with us. But we doing this shit. You feel me? Like keep rocking with us. Y'all gonna love this shit. You feel me? Ghetto babies two on the way. It's ready to be on all uh streaming platforms. And I'm gonna get y'all visuals, you feel me? Like, stay tuned, man. Alright, see that, man. Babies. You already know, man. Next up with Dad Paul, man. Osama's been stacking. You know how that shit, Get a baby.